Get out. Get outside. Outside, chicken. Get, 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 get out. Welcome back to another episode with the Ruhini Hunter. So I'm just heading up the bush for another mission into the Ruhinis. Gonna meet up with uh, one of the bros, Malcolm Kyle. Right, so here we are, just heading into the Ruhinis for an overnight hunting trip. Got old Malcolm Kyle coming along with me. So uh, you caught up with him on a hunting forum on Facebook and also seen him about a month ago in Norswood. And yeah, so here we are, finally going out for a hunt together and yeah it's, weather's a bit shitty really it's well it's been windy and sort of off and on rain but yeah we'll see how we get on shit Sneaking out for a bit of an evening hunt. It's going about 6:30, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get onto some animals sooner than later. What do you reckon, boy? Here you are. I like your gun, eh? What sort of rifle are you running there, mate? Seven mm -hmm. eight Tika. Tika. Yep. Kiwi composite stock. So yeah. no, it does the business. Cut carbon fibre, eh? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Nice and light. Yeah, I liked how light it was. <laughs> <laughs> you can just shy of three kilos. Yeah, something. just on the three kilos. So yeah, no good bit of kit. So that's the trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we get that barrel hot tonight, eh, bro? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Put something on the deck. Yeah. Got to feed boss. Yeah, His <laughs> boss has got no dinner tonight unless we shoot something. So yeah, let's go get into it. Than a spiker, I just yeah, could be a bit older. A bit older. No, what? We'll carry on up the track and see what else we can spot. <laughs> so I've just been sitting down glassing for about an hour. Picked up on a few animals. So at this stage the dog's going hungry. <laughs> Unless Malcolm gives him one of his pies, but yeah. I think we'll just go check out one more spot just behind us and uh, hopefully bowl into sunning and yeah, then probably just head back to the hut. Back at the hut now, got the fire cranking. Yeah, suppose it's that time probably put on a feed soon. This is us, it's our posse for the night. Here we have boss. We didn't no, no, we didn't shoot any deer tonight, so <laughs> he, he ain't getting venison for tea. Sit down, good boy. Our mate over here is um <laughs> giving up one of his was it pulled pork? Pulled pork pie. Pulled pork pie. I don't think it's going to last long. <laughs> yeah, might as well just feed you there, eh? Here you go, boy. 
pulled pork pie. Fuck, you're a bit spoilt. You know what to do with yourself. Yeah. So our mate here, he's um, testing out bloody tinfoil cooking in his fire there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Looks like a fucking... He's a half and half. Yeah, half cast, bro. <laughs> that was the hot part. Oh, yeah. It's a bit burnt on that side. Oh, it's a bit fucking hot. Yeah. That's right, should be right. Oh, you still got back back country up there if that one fails, eh? Oh, fuck. Yeah, it'd yeah, be hot as, man. Yeah. Morning. It's that time again, out for a hunt. Weather conditions are sort of much the muchness, really. Been on sort of showers overnight and a little bit of wind around. Hopefully we can bloody pull something this morning, eh? Put something on the deck. Yeah. Won't be letting any go today. Yeah. <laughs> you better be on your best behaviour, boy. Feeling pretty pumped. Just uh, stalking our way in. Quite a few deer actually. So hopefully if it all works out we'll be able to put one on the deck. So in the next part of this video, it's uh I don't know if I wanted to put it in or not because it's a, it's a bit of a grey area, a bit touchy. Well it's not really a grey area, it's sweet as it pretty much explains the title. Um a deer that feed around boundaries and that you know they live in the dock dock land and they come out and graze on pastures out in the farmland so they're going into the private land and doing their grazing out there at night and stuff then coming back jumping the fence and going back to hide in the bush throughout the day now i think <coughs> it's totally fine if they're on the right side of the fence if they're on the dock land they're in dock land man they're fair game as hunters we should be targeting these areas and just bowl them out man like because there's huge mobs I've been hunting for years now and on all the fringes around forest parks and that that's where a lot of the deer are living because there's so much feed in that and with <clears throat> the deer numbers at the moment on the rise there's so many deer around like everywhere you go you just see deer and <clears throat> farmers are a bit touchy on letting people up and behind their land and stuff which is fair enough you know you don't want hunters walking around and stuff like that but if you're on the dock side and you're plucking them off just on the fringes that's fine you're not doing anything wrong I think it's bloody good because if we don't if we don't do that then they're just going to keep hammering our bush with 1080 getting in choppers and it would just be like back in the day when a recreational hunter goes out and walks for miles and miles and miles and you know can't find himself a feed and yeah I've just been covering so much ground in the last year up in the bush and the deeper I've gone in well that's proper hunting you know it's a bit harder to find the deer and there's less numbers and all on the fringes of farmlands and boundaries that's where you get massive population of deer numbers and the uh, areas where yeah I think deer need thinning out a little bit so that's my five cents on it I don't want to upset anyone but if if they're on, if they're inside, mate, they're inside. They're fair game, and yeah, sweet as. Quite a few farmers and private landowners, they think they're their deer. You know, you hear the old, oh, they're my deer. You can't shoot them. They're my deer. Well, if they're your deer, you'll have them tagged or microchipped or have an EID tag in them or something. And then yes, if you release them into your block or on your farm or whatever, got them tagged or marked, then yes, they're your deer. But other than that, no, they're not your deer if they've got no tags or no record of you buying them or releasing them or whatever. So anyway, everyone comment down below and give me your thoughts about this thing. It is a bit touchy and it's probably going to piss some people off and probably going to crack some people up, but I'm throwing it out there, you know. At the end of the day, we're not doing anything wrong if you're on the right side of the fence, so it's all good. Oh yeah, there's another one trying to sneak through the fence. Oh, there's two on the right side now. Down, boss. Oh, that's quite small. You 
you just take any one, mate? They're, they're about to go, are you? Yeah. I'm not that guy. They're, they're off, are you? Not gonna. Oh, this one. Oh, I'm shot, mate. Shooting. Sit down, sit down. Get me, get me. Fucking wet down here. I think the deer have been using this. The deer. There it is. Good boy. Nice shot. Oh, it's a spiker, bro. Little yeah, little young spiker. Spiker. Good boy, boss. Hey. Find a deer for us, eh? There he is. Smoked it. Ah, good ship, bro. Hey, just what we're after, eh? Nice bit of light meat. Yeah, nice little leader. Yeah. Just got it, what, just in front of the shoulder. Dropped it anyway. It's come in through the back and sort of out through you. That's the exit, isn't it? Yeah, because it's quarter in the way. Oh, is that the way. exit? That's uh, the exit. Yeah, it is too. Yeah, he was facing in, into the, yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's got a big fat guts on it. <laughs> Been having feeding up all night. Yeah, so here's the boundary here. Poacher, Dockland. And me and old Malcolm, we seen, I don't know, four or five there jump this fence. And yeah, come onto this side. And once they did that, well, they're fair game, aren't they? Who's dead that they belong to then? Definitely not the farmer. So, yeah, we're about to do the work. Butcher the deer up. We'll take a few photos in that first. But yeah, beautiful mint morning. Sit down, boss. Good spot for you right there. Good boy. Perfect. Sit down, good boy. So, here we are. Here's the uh, result of our morning hunt. And yeah, what's your thoughts, mate? Good shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not too much anyway, bro. Cheer, bro. Yeah, we let yeah. a few go last night and. Uh, Good to get one on the deck. Yeah, definitely. We were patient and, yeah, managed to get this one this morning, so. Uh, patience pays off, I guess. Mm. Nice little spiker. Yeah. Should be a good little leader. Shit, yeah. It's in pretty good condition, too. It's got its little bulbs coming up there. Mm. Not much else to add? No. Nah. Yeah. Pack it out whole. <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure I get some footage of that so he's not bullshitting us. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it on the back. Yeah. No, we didn't too far to go to the hut. Good. Bone it out there and chuck it in the pack, I guess. Oh, there it is. Just gutting this animal and we've put the heart on a tree. Traditional mouldy thing you do. Respect for the animal, I guess. Here he is, some proof of him actually carrying the deer back whole. <laughs> Too much, bro. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Mouse was telling me before he's quite an expert butcher. <laughs> Gonna give me a few hot tips, he reckons. <laughs> so yeah, butcher the butcher. Yeah. But the, the two dogs that got onto these other hunters' hindquarters, bro. Oh, bro, no. they ate two hindquarters each. So yeah. four hindquarters of the these dogs. other hunters. Yeah. So Dad and Hodgie went. Luckily, they went out that morning, shot shot a couple of animals and gave them to the guys. But they said, "Fuck, <sighs> bro, what would you say?" Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what is? Oh, I'm sorry, my dog just ate, ate all your venison. Yeah, like all of it. <laughs> yep. Good nice. chunk of fucking backstage here, bro. Mint. Hey, boss. Yeah, just wrapping up the trip, really. It's been a good overnighter. And, uh, yeah, as you guys seen, we managed to bowl over one deer and see a few. Got the show old mouse here, Spot X. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Good fun. Yeah.
heavy packs heading out, so can't say no to that, eh, bro? Definitely, yeah, nothing wrong with a heavy pack on your way out. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah, over and out until next time. Catches up. Laters.